Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about the 3D poly command or the 3D poly line. So the 3D poly is located in the draw panel. This is the 3D poly or we can type in the command line 3P or 3D poly. So the 3D poly, it is a connected sequence or straight line that will create a single object. We can draw the 3D poly in a three direction, X, Y, and Z axis. So we use the 3D poly in the isometric view. This is our UCS. We have here the Z axis and then downward is the minus Z and then we have to the right, we have the x-axis, and then going to the left, we have the minus x, and then from here, this will be the y-axis, and then going to here, will be the minus y-axis. Now, we are going to use the 3D poly command type, 3P, enter, and then we can now draw a continuous line in a three direction. So let's start from here going to the x axis, let's say here, and then going to the y with respect to our UCS. Here is y, and then going up to the z axis, then escape. So, this is now example of the 3D polyline. So, what is the difference between the, the 3D polyline and the polyline? The polyline, you can only draw a continuous line in X and Y direction only. So, let's, let's do the polyline. Select the polyline command. And then, we are going to draw a line. So from here to the x-axis and then to the y. So we are going now to, to try to draw in the z-axis but we cannot draw in the z-axis because the polyline can only draw in two directions, the x-axis and the y-axis. So this is the difference between the two. So let's make box using the 3d poly command so we'll select here and then this is the 3d poly select okay so from here the length is 2 okay and then to the y 2 or to the x and then this is the y y axis to okay enter and then again 3p so we'll start from here going to the minus x to and then to the minus z axis to and then to the y to and then going up to the z axis to and then to the x to escape and now we can add a line to complete our box okay so by using the 3d poly you can easily make a box in the isometric view this is how the 3d poly works so thank you guys for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and and click the notification bell to receive the latest video from this channel thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video